What's going on, YouTube? Sins of Wrath here. Hello! And I'm back one more time for Call of Duty Black Ops. This is my final video. I promise. I don't know if I should say I promise. But my last video, I was doing a reply to a Korean killers section on his ghost story because of, you know, Halloween around the corner. Actually, matter of fact, tomorrow. Uh, it is Sunday right now. And I went ahead and did one of my own, my little ghost story. And I actually said, you know, it's going to be my last video, or it probably will be, but it wasn't. This one is. The reason that is, because I hit a little benchmark, all right? I hit my 50 subscribers. And first off, I want to say thank you to 12 Dallas Cowboys 1. He is my 50th subscriber. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for dropping by and uh, supporting my channel. I appreciate that a lot, okay? Like I said, before the beginning when I first started out, I'm doing this for fun. I'm not trying to get this in a monetary, monetary fashion, I guess. So I, I just enjoy this. I enjoy making these videos. And, you know, I find editing so much fun just to put different stuff together and make these little transitions. You know, it feels like I accomplished something because I'm not very computer sa savvy. You know, I have, a, I have a good time with it. All right. Also, on top of that, I hit my 20th upload. This is actually my 21st or 22nd, so I, I failed, you know. P-H-A-I-L. Is that right? Hooked on Phonics didn't work for me. All right, moving right on. I want to thank a couple of guys, a couple of supporters. Starting out, Korean Killer. You know, I talked about his video already, uh, about his little ghost story. And he was the guy that basically got me started. It's him. And there was uh, XXX Deified, XXX. Um, those are like some of the guys. Felix Black, another one, another guy. He's had a relatively sizable channel. Helped, helped me out. You know, Bloodseek. Um, violent by design. All those, well, those, those, are, those guys are bigger. They're way bigger than me. I don't know if it ever reached their status, but those are the individuals that, when I said, you know, I want to do this, and I subscribed to them in their channels, and they showed me and told me what I needed to do in order to get to get everything going. So I want to thank those guys. Also, Hutch Designs and Vertical Limit 12. In terms of technical stuff, Hutch Designs in my background. I love the background. The guy is awesome. He's a great personality. He's supporting me now. You know, hey, you know, get more subscribers over here. Also, Wilson HD, another another guy. He just subscribed to me not too long, uh, about a month ago or so. But he keeps on going to my channel. And says, hey man, this guy is good. Give him some more subscribers. You know, that's, that's the kind of person that he is, and I, I love that. It's it's good stuff. I want to throw throw a little shout out to a couple of my buddies from work, Z Master 69 and Boogeyman 303. A couple of guys I work with. I love playing with them. It's a good time. Z Master actually got to see me rage yesterday because, yeah, I do rage sometimes. You know, it's it's a given, especially when you play lag ops. I love this game. It has so much so much potential to this game. If it wasn't for the hit detection and for the lag, this game would be awesome. You know, I I, I wish I, w I would hope that they took some of, you know, I know they took Modern Warfare 2's engine into Modern Warfare 3, but I would hope that they would uh, take a little bit from Black Ops and utilize it towards you know, Modern Warfare 3. But we're about to find out in two days. Alright. Anyways, I was thinking about doing some Battlefield 3 videos. I actually bought the game. And, uh... Jumped on the campaign. And I enjoyed the campaign thoroughly. It's a good campaign. It is hard, though. It's not easy. Even, you know, I actually had to dumb it down. At one point, I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump on easy. Because even on medium, I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked by the AI here. So, I guess I just kind of, uh, you know tells you guys how good I am at playing shooters but uh yeah it, it, even easy the game isn't easy <laughs> it was ridiculous and I ended up going on and doing some online the first time I tried to get online I actually uh had to try for about 15 minutes and I couldn't get in so eventually you know so screw this I'm going to bed so I ended up going on about a dozen times thereafter and the last time I played was uh, yesterday and one of one of my friends, one of the guys I respect a lot, a good commentator, great channel, uh, Sc Scooter McGavin. He he is actually I met him through Black Ops, but he's pretty much uh, saying he's not going to get Modern Warfare 3. He's going to be predominantly Battlefield 3, and that's his choice, you know. Um, just like all this stuff is my opinion, that is his opinion. To you know, I played with him and a couple of his friends, and it, it just wasn't doing it for me. Felix Black was in there, too. He wasn't actually playing the game, but he was in there chatting with Scooter and so on. And also one of my friends, Treasure55, a guy that I played uh, through Modern Warfare 2 into Black Ops, uh, a lot of hardcore I played with him back then. And he's big time in Battlefield 3 as well. So um, it wasn't working out for me too well. We ended up getting partied up, and I tried to 
play with those guys so they can teach me as we go, you know, tell me what to do. For some reason, I end up on the other team. So the matchmaking <laughs> isn't really the greatest in Battlefield 3, I'd have to say. But I thought, you know, with uh, the amount of servers they have um, for all the different regions, they the lag would be minimal to, z you know, minimal to zero if you want to count down. But it wasn't. At, some po at one point, I end up... I had to run from my spawn point to the center of the map wall the action was at and I would take 10 steps forward and all of a sudden I, I would back up about 5 steps. <laughs> so it would take me forever just to get to the center. So the lag was definitely inherent there. I just don't know why. So that put a little bit of bad taste in my mouth. But that's, you know, guys, that's just my opinion. So don't, don't kill me for it, okay? Uh, it's definitely just my opinion on how I feel about the game. Um, Modern Warfare 3 is 2 days away. And... I am looking so much forward to it. Unfortunately, I have to work uh, Monday night, uh, Monday during the day, and then you know Tuesday during the day at like 5:30 in the morning. I gotta be in, which means I can't stay in line at midnight to pick up my my copy, which kind of sucks. But one thing I do have is a beautiful wife. There's a game or two, and she's taking my trade-ins in, and I'm gonna be getting rid of Modern Warfare 2 and, and Black Ops at this time, and maybe Battlefield 3. I don't know yet. Uh, if I can get a little bit of a, a push maybe to keep it, maybe you guys want to put a comment on the bottom of this video and just say, hey, Sens, keep it, give it another shot. It's really fun, you know, entice me, I guess. I might just keep it. I don't know yet. I, I'm thinking about it. You know, the game is, Battlefield 3 is beautiful. It's just, it's, it's got a steep learning curve. And, you know, I, I don't, whenever I started playing COD games, I don't think it was ever that hard just to learn the game. So... Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Well, Modern Warfare 3, what has it got coming to? You know, what am I looking forward to? The MK-14, got the assault rifles, the FAD, the G36C, German gun. I, you know, I am partially German, so that's, you know, I love the German guns. And then they're bringing back the old 1887s. I love the 8087s in Modern Warfare 2. Just, just the way they cock him, rotate him. Oh, it's a good time. I just, you know, the sequence. I just love them sequence by itself. They're bringing back the bouncing Bettys. I can't wait to use those because... Throughout Modern Warfare 2, throughout uh, Black Ops, you wouldn't see me use anything other than a Claymore in my backpack. And, you know, the Bouncing Betty is just going to be another ad addition for me to carry around. So this is something I love. Plus, for the most part, uh, let's, say, let's say about 7 out of 10, I would get a kill with a Claymore. And I can probably, you know, do the same thing with the, with the uh, Bouncing Bettys. And then they got that trophy system. Another thing I'm looking forward to, objective game, games are going to have a lot of these, I have a feeling. You know, like Domination or Demolition, stuff like that. It shoots down, basically, rockets and missiles and uh, grenades out of the air, you know, within a certain range of, the, of, of course. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think that, that they'll, they'll be, be a good time on its own. You got a... Uh, Ton of kill streaks coming out. Uh, I I, can't, I don't remember what the count was. It looks like almost like 15 kill streaks, out of the three tiers they have. The two, um, you have like 15 kill streaks apiece in those, and I love kill streaks. It's just it brings it to the arcade level for me, and maybe maybe that's also why I have a little bit of uh, I'm not so sure about Battlefield 3 because I love the arcade type feel a little bit. I love a shooter, has good realism to it, you know, in terms of graphics. But in terms of gameplay, I want to play the game because when it comes too realistic, it's not really a game to me anymore, you know? And that's what uh, the COD series always has brought for me, you know? It has, you know, the realism and graphics, but, you know, and the guns and stuff like that and the way things react, but it's more arcadey, and that's what I definitely enjoy, okay? So, like I was saying, you have all these different kill streaks coming through, and you have actually one tier, uh, the support tier, I think it is. If you die, the, con the counter continues. Of course, you don't have um, kill streaks that are actually meant to kill people. They're support to your team. So just like Battlefield 3, which is a must to play with your friends or to have good communications with, Modern Warfare 3 is trying to push more towards that as well, which I got no problem with. But it seems like there's going to be more of an open door in Modern Warfare 3 than in Battlefield 3. To whereas even if you play by yourself, you can still do relatively well. And I, when I played Battlefield 3, it doesn't seem like that was happening too well for me. I, I, I didn't seem to, to do so good just being on my own, you know. But, like I said, it's my opinion, alright. Uh, also, COD Elite, you know. We got, um, with my, uh, I have the hard edition on layaway, on pre-order if you will. 
and it's gonna have Cut Elite with it for one year for free, and it's gonna, uh, what do they say, about 15 or 20 pieces of download content all come free with it, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm curious to see what they're gonna have, 15 or 20 pieces of, to actually download. So, yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to Marvel Warfare 3. I can't wait. Thank God to my wife for picking it up, all right? Now, with all that stuff being done and set here, I'm gonna jump straight into my 50 subscriber challenge. Okay, it is going to be about the Navy and about naval stuff, if you will. I have four questions I'm gonna ask you guys, okay? I'm gonna start those out right now, and when I get done with these, I'm gonna show you, tell you guys the rules and what you have to do in order to win and what the winning part is. Number one, by what person, or basically who, authorized and what year that person authorized that the Navy celebrates the Navy's birthday because it became a Navy wide celebration what year and what person authorized that I told you guys I mean I'll not mention it but the Navy's birthday was 13 October 1775 it but it did not become an actual celebration until later who is that person and what year question number one question number two during the Great War the torpedoing of what ship caused Teddy Roosevelt to demand immediate warfare, basically plunging the United States into war, okay? Question number three. What was the first U.S. jet-powered aircraft that ever landed or took off from an aircraft carrier? First jet-powered aircraft. Give me the name of that, that aircraft. And if you want to, give me the year too, all right? Number four and last question. What is the first nuclear-powered ship? The first nuclear-powered ship. Okay? Now, here are the rules. Those four questions. Number one, you have to be a subscriber to me. All right? Number two, you have to thumbs up the video. Number three, it has to be given to me in a private message. You have to go to my channel and send me a message, a private message, to give me the answers. Of course, they all have to be correct to be considered, okay? And last, you have to be the 10th message, one zero tenth. I did that on purpose so that way people can count the comment blocks and say, okay, I'll be 10th, I can get it. All right, what can you win? Number one, the winner is gonna get, I am on Xbox, so unfortunately, I'm sorry, PS3 or Wii, Wii guys. You can still participate and throw me a message and I will still give you the second part of the win, but you will not get the initial part of the win. It is a one month free subscription, one month free subscription to Xbox Live. All right, I have a card ready with a code. I will contact you and we will, I'll get you that code so you have your one month free. All right. The second part is on my first Modern Warfare 3 video, I will shout out if you are the winner. Like I said, even if you're a PlayStation 3 or a Wii player, I will give you uh, give you the shout out on my first my first Modern Warfare 3 video, which includes you know referring your channel to whole nine yards. Okay. Let me know, and uh, yeah, that is my 50 subscriber channel. If there are any questions about it, throw them in the comment box. I will clarify anything you guys might need to know, okay? All right? Partial answers don't count. You know, wrong answers obviously don't count either, all right? So there it is. That is my 50 subscriber challenge. I guess I, guess I you hope you guys enjoy this video. You guys notice this is a variety, my little variety pack towards the end here. This is my last Black Ops video, and... I will miss Black Ops just a little bit, you know, I had some fun with it, definitely starting out, the game was, was, was a great game, there's a lot of potential for this game, uh, you know, and if it wasn't for the hit detection and the lag, I think this game would have been even bigger than, than what it was, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward, you know, to Modern Warfare 3, guys. Well, this is about to wrap itself up, with that being said, I wish you guys a happy Halloween and a happy Modern Warfare 3, alright? And it was been a pleasure commentating to you guys, all right? Take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you in Modern Warfare 3. Goodbye. Don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe.